The day Van Gogh painted this, he wrote to his brother Theo and said, Today I discovered color, red, blue, and yellow flowers under a pale gray sky. This portrait of Monet's wife also has its own story. When Monet saw it, he thought that Renoir, its author, should give up painting forever. Usually, these two masterpieces of Impressionism can only be seen at Washington's National Gallery. But due to some restoration projects, they were brought to Rome alongside other 66 works of art. Alone this big is exceptional, because for the first time, these 68 paintings leave the National Gallery in Washington. They will be exhibited in Texas, San Francisco and Tokyo before going back to their exhibit halls, which are some of the most visited at the National Gallery. The origin of this collection, one of the most unique in the world, traces to the Mellons, a wealthy American family. While they bought classic masterpieces for the National Gallery, like those of Leonardo, they kept for their personal enjoyment the paintings that are now exhibited. The difference between this exhibit and others on Impressionism is that this one is called Intimate Impressionism, meaning a private Impressionism that can be enjoyed at home. The exhibition, Gemme dell'Impressionismo, or Jewels of Impressionism, will be on display until the end of February in the Museo del Arapaci is in Rome. Only until then will visitors be able to appreciate why a portrait of a dog or a handful of oysters can make visitors feel at home.